we're here with one of Florida's, at least in my opinion, one of South Florida's more unique trees. If you look very closely behind me, we have our state tree of Florida, which is the cabbage palm. And over here to the left, we also have a cabbage palm, but we see something growing off of this particular tree. And that would be the Florida strangler fig. This tree is growing on the cabbage palm tree. And at some point in the course of the not too distant future, maybe a few years down the road, this cabbage palm tree that the strangler fig is wrapping itself around will eventually die. Those are what are called aerial roots. And those roots will work their way down to the ground. And eventually when they start pulling in nutrients, they will get wider and thicker and thicker and thicker. And then eventually <clears throat> start forming fingers like you see going around the cabbage palm and then more, a more of a root system, more of a root system, and eventually the palm tree will die. This particular tree can grow to be 40 or 50 feet tall, and it can be just as wide. The figs, the berries that grow on this tree have, set, have many, many seeds within them. The seeds are sticky, birds eat the seeds. It provides a habitat for a lot of different animals. This tree itself is the host plant for the dagger wing butterfly. So the dagger wing butterfly lays its eggs on the Florida strangler fig. The, the tree itself also has another type of a relationship with a type of wasp. Um, fig trees are, are pollinated by certain types of fig wasps. Each tree has its own unique type of fig wasp that pollinates the tree. And so that's what would be called a mutualistic relationship where the tree, both organisms benefit from one another. 